South Carolina Health Department giving an update on COVID before students head back to school. They share the steps you can take to keep the kid in class. Jason Raven tells us more. DHEC Public Health Director Dr. Brandon Traxler says the pandemic has taken a toll on education with virtual learning, disruption from being in and out of the classroom, and so on. Now, Dr. Traxler says they encourage all parents to vaccinate their child against COVID-19 ahead of the school year. Now, children are eligible for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine. About a month ago, South Carolinians under the age of five became eligible for the vaccine. With vaccines readily available now for everyone six months old and up, uh, there's no better time than now for all children to get their COVID-19 vaccination so that they can focus 100% on school and not have to worry about missing days or missing events or classes or having their schedules altered due to COVID-19. DHEC has updated their school exclusion list ahead of the school year. Now these are requirements for children and staff with certain diseases and conditions to stay home while contagious. Now Dr. Traxler says students and teachers who test positive for COVID-19 can return to class five days after symptoms start. And if you don't have a fever for 24 hours without the help of medication and symptoms are improving. When they return, a mask needs to be worn. It must be worn for day six through 10. Um, and if a mask is not worn through day 10, then they need to do a 10 day isolation that must be observed. Now, DHEC says it is up to schools to make decisions on masking. However, they encourage anyone to wear a mask indoors in counties with high community levels of COVID-19, according to the CDC. We recognize that they have a lot of factors to consider. Right now, 29 counties are experiencing high community levels in South Carolina. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. State Health Department says they'll get 50,000 doses of this Novavax vaccine.